There we go. Now we're live. I just had to make sure because I've been having a little bit of trouble with OBS the past little while. I gotta find time to actually fix that. I am live, right? Yeah, yeah, I see the game's loading screen. Okay, let me check. Check the audio. Uh-huh. Sounds, sounds fine. So it's been a while since I last played this. I apologize for that. There was a lot of schoolwork I had to get done. It's now April 11th at 10.05 p.m. It's been quite a while since I last played this game. In fact, I played this game basically all day today just because I had to grind to get to the next ranking before I'm able to move on. Look at my Pokeballs. I only got three Pokeballs. Only after crafting who knows how many. I'll just craft 50, 51. Okay. It's about to craft 50, but okay, 51. Do I need a rest? Nope. But yeah, I had to play this game so much today. I, I really planned to play this the past few days to grind and get enough... EXP to, to get to the next star ranking. But, you know, I was mostly putting off all the schoolwork I had to do. Alright, let's go talk to Silene and then, and then I'll talk about the main topic. The topic that is the title. Because I want to talk about the Pokemon anime today. There's a topic I haven't talked about in a while. Or if ever. Indeed, I have made progress. Uh, I don't care. Here, you can see the cover of my book. Earned myself a star. Damn right, I actually earned this star. After all the grinding I had to do. I should probably show you my pastor. And actually show you what it is I actually caught. I caught an Alpha Starly. No shiny still. It will. Be, it would be. It would not be an exaggeration to say that you might be the only one among the Survey Corps I can task with surveying the Alabaster Icelands. You know your orders. See your mission through. And if I say no. Alright, let me go to the pasture real quick so I can I can just real quick show you guys. Ooh, I'm afraid if I step a little close, I'll, I'll engage a cutscene. <laughs> In fact, I can predict there's probably a trainer battle there. Investigate. Okay, fantastic. Cool. Alright, pastures, how many... Alright, there we go. I don't even know where we left off. Hmm... Wait, what? When did I get an Ursa Ring? I think I got that last time, didn't I? I don't remember doing that. I think I do, actually. Didn't we go to a place that had a couple of Ursa Rings? Great, it's been a while since I last played this. I already forgot everything I did. Uh, yeah, I went back to Fire Spit Island, and I managed to only catch one Magmar. Look at how blue this this box is. And then we just got this one outlier. Oh, never mind, I caught two. I don't even remember what I did now. I found a Piplup. Oh, it doesn't show the alpha icon, so I gotta figure out which one it was. Uh... I don't know. Didn't I catch an Alpha Machoke somewhere? Yeah, this one. This one's an Alpha Tentacool. That's Tentacool. <laughs> yeah, no, it's not. Yeah, this one's an Alpha. Uh, this one's Alpha. 
Alright, enough, enough fooling around. Let's actually get going. Let's go do what we need to do. I kind of feel like there's a battle coming, so I'll save. Why not? Because I can. Of course, I'm all too aware of the injuries done to some of our own good people because of the frenzies of the other nobles. There seems there seemed little choice but to intervene. But this Avalog out in the Alabaster Icelands hasn't harmed a soul, as I hear. That's good. That's a good thing. Does it really behoove us to go out of our way to subdue him? Yes. If Avalox is great and mighty as they say, he could very well cause avalanches. Avalanches don't require any Pokemon's help. They occur perfectly well on their own, you know? I confess- Oh, well, if they can be avoided because something caused it, then we may as well do that. I confess I still have my doubts whether we should be getting involved in this case. No damage has been done so far- So far! But it can, so we should prevent it before it potentially does. But if we send, well, me, out there, we'll be putting him in danger of real harm. As if you haven't been doing that already. Now you show concern. What, am I growing too strong? You're like, he's becoming too powerful. We cannot let him live. But if the Lord is suffering in its, in its frenzy, like people say, then wouldn't it be kinder to quell it? There's simply so much we don't yet understand when it comes to the noble Pokemon. We don't know whether their frenzies truly are causing them to suffer, nor do we know why they enter these states in the first first place. Or, that's a, this is a long sentence. Or if this is all connected somehow to the space-time rift. Tell you what, you get struck in by that bolt of lightning. Let's see how much, let's see how you feel. Let's see if you feel any pain from that. A way to go exist, protecting everyone. I should probably read this. Or indeed, from surveying any of the Pokemon of this land. What is it we hope to achieve? <sighs> How's everyone doing, by the way? Y'all doing good? It's been a while since I last been here. Like I said, I just had a bunch of... What do you say about a sausage just now? I had a bunch of schoolwork to do. One of it was due this morning, and the other one was, I guess, technically due yesterday. I swear the date said it was due today. And then I checked this morning, well, it said it was due yesterday. Aha! I knew there was going to be a battle. I'm going to have you guys background noise while I study. <laughs> Studying, that's exactly what I should be doing, but I'm not. Oh no, hypnosis, really? Ah, great. Um, I don't have anything that's good against psychic or fairy. I don't have any steel or dark. Not like dark's gonna help in this case. I don't have any ghosts. But I still gotta switch to... Oh, never mind, I have bite, but that's not gonna help. I need to switch to something else, because I can't do anything while Decidueye's asleep. Actually, you know what? Let's just do it normally first. Okay. Oh, come on. Hey, what happened to Hypnosis having like a 60 accuracy? Swear to God, you better not. Okay. About to be like, you better not use Hypnosis again. Uh, of course. 95 accuracy, and of course the 5, the, the little 5 just had to miss. Oh, okay, you, you land Hypnosis three times in a row. With the 60 accuracy. Hey, I saved. So if I need to... If I need to, I can just restart. Y'all saw nothing. Nothing happened. Y'all saw nothing. I 
I Thanos snapped that out of your your memory. Did you even hear that snap? Anyways, let's let, let uh, let's actually talk about the main topic. The thing I actually want to, you know, what's the word I'm looking for? Is it vent? Like actually vent and rant about? And that's the Pokemon anime. Now the reason I want I want to talk about the Pokemon anime is because there was one episode in particular that came out recently that you know should have gotten me excited but I've been disappointed by the Pokemon anime so much I knew better. I had expectations like I knew this would probably be the case this is probably what they're going to do in this one episode. And I was exactly dead on. I was correct about absolutely everything that I knew they would do to try to swerve around the thing that every fan wanted. Like, it came to a point where I predicted exactly what the writers would do to disappoint people like me. And I got damn near everything spot on. Absolutely every detail I predicted happened exactly and I'm talking about Pokemon Journeys episode 105 I should also put out a give a little disclaimer like I've seen hey look at that there's artwork over there I've seen every episode of the anime up until Sun and Moon oh great my decidueyes asleep again this time, I know just to use the strong style. I've seen every episode of the anime up until Sun and Moon. I actually plan- please miss, thank you! I actually plan to- to watch Pokemon Journeys, I actually just haven't had time. Cause, you know, like I said, we're now, right now, as of me doing this, we're on episode 105. That means there's 104 episodes prior I have not seen. Now, normally, I would not do this. I would never normally do this. And that is just skip ahead and just watch a random episode without watching everything else prior. I normally never do that. But this is the Pokemon anime. From what I, from what I know in the past, like 90% of the episodes are filler. Like, and I'm sure people out there can actually say you didn't really need to watch anything else prior to this one episode. This just just this one. Sure, there were like a couple of references, nods, and flashbacks that I would not have understood. But it's like I'm gonna watch it anyways one day. You know something funny I actually saw I think on Twitter. I think it was Twitter. Is I don't know who posted this. Someone put a picture of Akari next to a picture of Dawn. And people were like, Pokemon fans don't know these are two separate characters. Because they have the exact same character design. If you chose being playing as a girl when you first started this game, then your character would look like Akari. But because I chose being a boy, Akari is an actual character. So either Dawn or Akari exist in this game, but not at the same time. So technically, they're two separate characters that look identical. I just found that hilarious. Like, people don't know these are two separate characters. It's the same- it's the picture of the s it's the same picture of the one character. This looks nice. Dang, this looks nice. I would set up camp here. Is that the mansion from Twilight Princess? That's what it looks like. Am I, about, am I about to go f make some soup for Yeti? Oh my god. <laughs> I didn't expect that. My word, it's rather chilly here, isn't it? Glad to see you made it safe and sound in any case. Very few venture to these alabaster ice lands. Apart from Tao Hao leading... I said that so loud, something echoed in my room. <laughs> leading the odd supply core exert... Ex... Ex... To ga <laughs> gather materials. But the Survey Corps, of course, must go el anywhere that Pokemon are found. 
from what I gather, Ice Peak Arena, where you'll find Avalug. Ice Peak Arena? Where you'll find Avalug is rather far off, I'm afraid. Thanks. Thanks, thanks for that. Doubtless this mission to tackle Avalug will be another dangerous one. Learn all the way you can from Marita and Adaman to try to keep yourself safe. Brisk out here, isn't it? And you're wearing almost nothing warm. How aren't you freezing? That's a good question. Freezing? I'm practically sweating. Hey, that's my kind of woman right there. I prefer the cold over the heat. If you think this is bad, just wait. This is nothing compared to where we're headed. You've already been to Fire Spit Island. How did you? How are you not dead if you were there? You know, I'm beginning to think the problem between us isn't a Diamond Clan thing or a Pearl Clan thing. It's just, it's just a you and me thing. Damn. Damn. You just gotta. Okay. Just, wow. I don't see how we could, as long as you, as long as you and your clan cling to your vision of an almighty Sinnoh that reigns over time. Forgive my bluntness, but if such a being even does exist, which it does because you people have statues of it, it's certainly, it's certainly not almighty Sinnoh. The writing in this game kind of sucks. Yes, yes, believe what you want, just tell us where we have to go. We're headed to see my teacher, and he's only ever found in one place. Which is... You see that guy's face? He's like, Which is... Are you gonna tell me or not? We're talking about that... Garrick... Fellow, right? Where do we find him? I wonder what this place looks like during the day. At Avalog's Legacy. Yeah, that says Legacy. Obviously. Where else but a great mass of ice could I have met... Meant, not met, meant when I said we'd be heading somewhere even colder. Sure, stomp off without me. This is why I can't stand people who only care about whether time is passing them by. Wait, what? Hey, can I be honest? Like, the two of them kind of kind of cute together, I'm not going to lie. I've seen artwork of the two of them together. And, you know, that, that let me just let me just transition that back to the Pokemon anime. Cuz episode 105 of Pokemon Journeys is the an is the anime. Is the episode of the anime that Serena comes back. You know, Serena from the XY anime. I was big into the XY anime back then. I remember back in high school when that when that was first airing, like, I was so invested in it. Like, I had watched every episode of the anime prior to X and Y coming out. Sure, whether or not I remembered everything was a different story, because I was a kid watching most of them. You know, in, in X and Y, they did something that had never been done before in the anime. And that was actually having one of Ash's female companions actually have any sort of romantic feelings towards him. You know, the bumbling doofus that is Ash Ketchum. I can't diss him too much because I'm, I'm way stupider than Ash is. I'm trying to think of any obvious moments from the anime like remember when Ash did this stupid thing? I'm trying to remember anything but I'm kind of drawing a blank right now. So it seems like we're gonna have to climb. Crunchy salt. Why would salt be on the side of a cliff? Wait, no. There we go. This place looks awesome. I would set up camp here. I would build a house here. You know, the peace and quiet. The isolation. Look at that. Look at the beautiful night sky. Lovely. And like I said, I like the cold more than I like the heat. I mean, there's. I can't imagine there's much place for vegetation to grow here.
And you know, there's only there's only so many trees you can use for firewood. But yeah, my my stupid ass back when back when I was watching the X and Y anime, I really thought that, you know, because they actually introduced a character that had romantic feelings towards Ash, that maybe they would actually do something. I actually thought maybe something would happen. Well, that was before I grew up and realized that Pokemon hadn't. That was me having that idea, that thought, that hope in mind was before I grew up and realized that Pokemon is still Pokemon. What is this? A snowball, okay. I feel like I could just, you know, use my hands, pick up some of the snow on the ground, and just, you know, make that myself. I don't need to actually break something to actually pick up three of them. But, okay then. Ooh, look at that, it's turning daytime. This kind of looks like, like, uh, that one spot in Breath of the Wild. On top of the, the snowy mountain on the Great Plateau, that's... Kind of reminds me of that, especially the waterfall. What, would that be the Temple of Time? Thanks, Sneasler, for hardly doing your job of climbing us down. Electivire over there. Oh, come on. So yeah, I really thought as a kid that they would they would actually have some sort of, you know, romance on the show. Well, that was a child's dream. That was, that was what a, an alpha swine up? That was what a kid hoped for, and that is what a grown adult man did not get. And will honestly never get. Thank you, Pokemon, for that. Why that look kind of blue? That's that's not blue. That's green. But it looks blue. Must mean the shiny is actually really blue. I'm a little curious. Can I actually catch this, maybe? Because apparently I'm invisible to everything as long as I crouch down. See? Never mind. Can I catch it? I don't- No, I can't. It's too high leveled. I didn't realize until long after the X and Y anime ended that they're, they're, Pokemon's never going to change. As much as they claim to be, you know, for all ages, Man, they, they better shut their lying asses up. Because let's be honest, Pokemon is very much still targeted for children. It's still a kid's game franchise. I'm actually really close to where I need to go. Oh, look at that. What's up, people? Thanks for, you know, just leaving me to make my own way here. Well, this is, a, this is a real slog, fighting through those miserable icy winds to reach this desolate bit of nowhere. Well done, us. This gentleman is Avalux Warden, and my most honorable teacher, Garrick. I keep, I keep wanting to say Garrick. I don't know why. G-A-E. So show me respect, Adamin. Let's begin with some proper introductions. I'm Garrick. I serve as one of the Pearl Clan's wardens. What? Hey, I wasn't standing in front of you. I was standing beside Adamant. Answer me this, would you? On what ground would you... Wait, on what grounds do you come here seeking to quell Lord Avalog? He's in a frenzy. I was commanded to. I'm just following orders. Uh, I was kind of forced beyond my own will. I, I'm just like... Doing someone else's bidding. That leads me to my next question. What is wrong with him being frenzied? 
It could cause... It could trouble others? I don't know. It could trouble others. Then I have no... Then I have another question. Setting aside... Setting aside any orders, what is it your heart tells you to do? To quell his frenzy. Oh my god. Our mighty Lord of the Tundra, Avalog, has done nothing to trouble any person or Pokemon. For now, indeed, Avalog's causing no trouble. But aren't we also... But aren't we also duty-bound to free our Pokemon from living in fear that such a colossal Pokemon might begin to wreak havoc at any moment? Colossal's actually a Pokemon. Such a colossal Pokemon... That's also named Colossal? We are, there's certainly some logic to that. But if that is what you hope to accomplish, then we must judge whether this child is up to the task. Uh, I kind of should I'm going to say not yet. That way I can save. Damn, you doing squats in front of me? Is that what we're doing now? Alright, now that I've written in my notebook, now I'm ready to battle you. I, I assume you're going to use ice types. Maybe I shouldn't have Decidueye, a grass type, out front. Decidueye is also a fighting type in this game, but I ain't got no fighting moves on it. Is this how I do it? Is, is that it? Is that all I have to do to change who's up front? My masculature is hard and unyielding as ice. Think you can break through? Oh, that's not fair. Two against one. Uh, I'll take down Frostlass first. Because the dual typing there. Oh, you're only level 24? Oh, I should have taken... No, wait. About to say I should have taken down Glalie first, but no, I sh... No, me doing... Me taking down Frostlass first was a good call. That is so not fair. Why do you get three moves? Because that way, if I keep on just weakening down Glalie, then I'll still be hit from two sides. Here, here, maybe I can get better better luck with hypnosis. Thank you. Sleep with your eyes open. I thought you was sleep. Them Z's is a lie. Would you just fall your ass asleep already? Let me guess, the third move? Oh, maybe not. Thank you! But yeah, now I've, now I've learned that in the Pokemon anime, they're never going to do a romance. They're never even going to do that in the games. I mean, they've done that in the mangas before, but I don't think I don't think the Pokemon Company has a direct hand in that. Like, I think they, you know, have someone else handle the mangas. I know about the Ruby and Sapphire story in that. Like, in the Pokemon mangas, you actually see Pokemon get torn apart and die. You're clearly never going to see that in any games or in the actual anime. Like, I know that I know that one frame of like an R box sliced in half. You can see the cross section of its entire body. My sh clairvoyance. I almost said chivalry for some reason. My clairvoyance told me that I that I'd lead you on a chase. Look at that braviary.
Seems you better focus on pursuing Warden Sabi. And let... Or is it Sabi? And let me focus on my workout while I still can. You know, I hate working out. But I feel much better working out in the cold. Maybe not like this. Maybe not shirtless and in, in a cold tundra. But you know, I don't like I keep saying this. I don't like the heat. So, you know, and working out, you build up a nice body heat or whatever. Yeah, that thing's shaking. I'd rather not. That thing's sparkling, so I will. Man, if only you guys could have seen just how disappointed I was when X and Y finished, the final episode aired, and the goddamn kiss between Serena and Ash happened fucking off screen. You see you see Serena tiptoe for some reason, she's the same height as him. And then you see her be pulled away by the by the escalator. And then that's it. You never see it. It's like, God damn it, Pokemon. You couldn't even give us that? You're, you're stinking family-friendly. Not even family-friendly. You're stinking kid-friendly brand. And once again, it's like, I get it. God damn it. It's business. But I'd, I would at least like to think that as of the X and Y anime, you know, the most mature anime that we've gotten from Pokemon... They could, they would have at least given us that. Something, at least. Well, they did give us something, but what we got sucked. You know, I only waited three years since the, uh, since the X and Y anime started. I only waited three years to see anything happen between the two characters, and all I get was something that happened off screen. Like, just beyond the screen as well. I got to see the character's feet as they did it. Well, not did that, but, you know. Man, I, I wish you could have seen my reaction and how disappointed I was. Of course I was excited to finally see something happening. I remember I jumped out of my seat like, oh my god, they finally did something. And then immediately after, I'm like, God damn it, but I couldn't see it! So, like I said, I've only watched up to the end of X and Y. I've ne How am I supposed to get up there? Right, I have Sneasler now. Whoa! That's an alpha. I was about to be like, that's not... Is that a shiny? That's no shiny. So I've only seen up until the end of X and Y. I've never watched Sun and Moon. And I don't want to. I don't ever plan to watch Sun and Moon. Well, I shouldn't say that. Maybe one day I will. But no time soon do I plan to watch Sun and Moon. Why? Well, because the end of X and Y disappointed me so astronomically much. You know, we were all theorizing at the time, like, I remember the fandom, the anime fandom at the time were theorizing, will Serena travel with Ash to Alola? That clearly did not happen. So that was, that was number one in what disappointed me. And then number two, the drastic art style change. You know, we had the best looking anime in my opinion thus far and then we and then we transition from the super mature looking anime like actually good looking anime uh towards whatever the hell sun and moon was and i'm just like no serena and this drastic anime art style change no nah, i'm out i'm done i'm not watching this i know some people out there are gonna hate me for this like how dare you not watch the Sun and Moon anime? It was great! I loved it! It's my favorite Pokemon anime! You have to see it! Look, maybe one day I will. One day, you know, when the completionist in me is like... I've seen literally everything but the Sun and Moon anime. I think it's time to check it out. But as of right now, I have no interest in watching it. 
Now, I do know that, supposedly, according to many people out there, that the Sun and Moon anime did have a, a lot of good episodes. And I'm fully aware of episodes such as the Stoutland one. I know about that one. I don't know if I can watch that without tearing up. I haven't seen it, by the way. I haven't seen anything from this Sun and Moon anime. Only reason that I want to watch Pokemon Journeys is because not only is it different from every other anime, you know, f you know, typical eight gym battles and then the league with like 90% filler in between. Oh, also the the villainous team. And I know Sun and Moon was different, but I didn't check that out yet. And I don't think I want to. But yeah, Pokemon Journeys is totally something different. And they also have returning characters from the past. Which, you know, kind of at least confirms to the fans, like, Hey, we didn't just forget about these characters. Did Tracy come back in the anime yet? I haven't. I don't know yet. Can I heal myself here? So yeah, I want to watch Pokemon Journeys, but I just haven't had time. Hey, is there any place I can heal myself? So yeah, I want to watch Pokemon Journeys. I will, maybe when the entire show is done. Well, not the entire Pokemon anime, but the Pokemon Journeys portion of it is done. Maybe then I'll catch up, because right now I'm a little busy with schoolwork. Like I just said, I technically have an assignment that was due yesterday. And I ain't started yet. It's okay, it's not important. I'll still do it, I'll probably finish it by tomorrow. I don't think my professor really cares if it's late or not. Anyways, uh... So yeah, I'll watch Pokemon Journeys eventually, but as of right now, I've only seen episode 105, which is the episode that Serena returns. And let me tell you, everything I predicted that they could do in this episode that could disappoint people like me, who wanted to see Ash and Serena reunite for so long, I got damn near everything spot on. Because in my mind, before watching the episode, you know, just hearing the news that she's going to return, the way I th I know that they were going to do it was, they obviously could not have Ash and Serena be together for the entire episode, and that's exactly what they did. They found some sort of bogus excuse to have the two separated for the episode. In fact, I was actually predicting that the two of them would not meet at all during the episode. But they did meet at the very end for like 45 seconds. Because the way I see it, there, there was two options that they kind of wrote themselves into. They could not have Ash and Serena together the entire episode. And either, one, talk about the kiss, because Pokemon, you know, they're too kid-friendly. That's, that's, that's not for kids. They can't say that. They can't talk about topics like that. So they could not have that. Or, they could not have Ash and Serena together the entire episode, and never talk about it. They just, they can't have Ash just, just completely pretend like it didn't happen. They can't just have him seem like he forgot it even happened. Because then people like me would have indeed outraged. Okay, there's obviously no place for me to heal myself. Can I... Yeah, I'm gonna fly back here because it's rather close. Never mind, it is where I'm at. I don't want to go all the way back here just to heal myself because then I gotta travel all the way back. You know what? 
that's probably where Avalug is. So once I create, probably, hopefully, a fast, <coughs> excuse me, a fast travel point there, then I can go back here. This looks like that one spot in Breath of the Wild, you know, where we, gr well, not even grind for the dragon parts. You know, in Farron Woods, right there, like how there's so many of those areas there. So yeah, they kind of, Pokemon kind of wrote themselves into a corner there. They could not have Ash and Serena together for the a whole episode. And either A, talk about the kiss, or B, not talk about it. They wrote themselves into that corner. So knowing that, my prediction was they're going to find some sort of garbage excuse to have Ash and Serena not even meet the entire episode. And I was exactly correct. I was 100% correct. Because Wallace showed up out of nowhere and challenged Ash to a battle. And because of that battle, Ash missed all of Serena and Chloe's performance. Had Ash been there, he would have been like, Hey, that's Serena. We traveled together. I remember her. I'll go say hi to her after she's done performing. Yeah, that didn't happen. That clearly did not happen. Oh, if only you guys know how disappointed I am. Because, you know, I grew up with this Ash character. Despite him not growing up in the slightest, not even aging a day. While I aged like 20 years. Like, seeing, seeing Ash finally potentially have a love interest, yo, that excited me. I wanted to see that. But that was before I grew up and realized the po that Pokemon had not grown up and were never going to go that more mature route. Am I going to battle you now? Nope, guess not. Can I heal my Pokemon? Can you heal my Pokemon? I did not hear what she said because I did not read what she said. Okay, you know what? Never mind. I can just fly here, heal, and then fly back to the Pearl Settlement. That little village I was just at. Was that so hard? Just letting me heal up? Was it that hard? I was like, am I hitting the wrong button? I was hitting the X button to put away stuff, and it wasn't working. Like, am I hitting the wrong button? I had to look at my screen, like, am I doing this right? So I was dead on in my predictions for this episode. <clears throat> Ash and Serena never met until the very end, where they did not even bring up that kiss. They both pretended it didn't happen. Motherfuckers. I, I think, didn't I climb up there? What happens if I follow the, the actual path? And you know, I saw, I saw Lumio's trainer Zack's review on the episode. Whoa! Can I catch these? No, I don't, no, they're not wild. I swear to God, I better not drown in this pool. And, you know, he actually brought up a, a pretty good point in the episode. Ash was fighting Wallace. If I'm not mistaken, the previous champion of Hoenn, was it? Like, before Steven became champion? So Ash was fighting a champion-level character. And that was the episode's B-plot. Majority of those battles happened off screen. Ash was battling a champion level character off screen. And he won the battle. You would think that's an episode right there on its own. Ash actually battling and winning against a champion level character. But no, that was set aside as a joke for, for an episode as an excuse. For two characters to not meet. God damn it, Pokemon. Like, I waited six years to see this freaking character return. 
in any sense. And that's what I get. Six years waiting for one character to make any sort of return to the show. Only to have the two characters that I wanted to see on screen together at the same time again only take place in about 45 seconds. 45 seconds to a minute. Where, you know, the most important thing was just glossed over. They didn't even mention it. They didn't even bother even hinting at it. Wait a sec, this, these are Reggie statues. I'm not supposed to talk to you. More of this tapestry. Bronzong, please. I'm not going to accidentally call you Bronzor again. Ooh, hoo, 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 looky here. I had a feeling like that beacon was up top. So let's see what's down below. Oh my god, look at this. It kind of looks like the eyes can move. Like I can slide them. Alright. Like, I knew, even going in, they're gonna, f they're probably going to find some reason that Ash and Serena would not meet the entire episode. And I was spot on. I was dead on. I was correct. A hundred percent. They made Wallace a joke in the episode. Hey, wait a second. Haven't I seen these symbols before? Wither the statue's gaze. Which panel will you press first? Um, oh, these are the Reggies. I got, I'm afraid I'm going to battle the Reggies right now, so let me save the game. Wither... Wait, yeah. Alright, let's, let's just go... Let's just start from the top. Do the rock. Ice. Steel. Does it matter? Okay, maybe it does. Well, there's only so many combinations of threes we can do. So let's... We did one, two, three. So let's try one, three, two. Second try is not bad. You know. Out of all the possible answers, second try is not that bad. Especially when you're just guessing. What am I supposed to do in here? What I was wrong about the episode though, like like I said, I kind of expected the two of them to not ever meet at all in the entire episode. And had they done that, I would have been furious. I would have been so incredibly mad. I mean, I was pretty mad at what we did get anyways. So the two of them actually met at the very end. But it was too late. Alright, let's start from the top. Rock, ice, steel. One, two, three. Wait, what? I gotta hit more than three now? Oh, god. Okay, so it says something about wither... Oh, there we go. The statues show it. But which statues do I need to find? Probably the ones after, after where I've just been, I'm lost now. S now I'm lost. So I was just here, so I need to go from, from the top. Was there a statue there? Nope. Alright, so ice. Ice, is that steel? No, is that steel? I think that's rock. Ice, steel, 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 rock, ice. Ice, steel, rock, ice. Ice, steel, rock, ice. 
steel. I steal, rock, I steal. I steal, rock, I steal. Ice, steel, rock, ice, steel. Okay, maybe I got rock and steel mixed up. If it's not ice, steel, rock, ice, steel. Maybe it's ice, ice, rock, steel, ice, steel. Wait, ice, steel, rock, ice, steel. Okay, ice. If it's not steel, then rock. Ice, steel, rock. Ice. Whoops, rock. Okay, I'm clearly missing something here. It said gaze. Oh, that's why there's a window there. You follow the gaze. Okay, so this one's first. Ice. Ice. Uh, ice, steel. Ice, steel, rock. Ice, steel, rock. Steel. Ice. Ice, steel, rock, steel, ice. Okay, ice, steel. No! I hit rock. Ice, steel, rock, ice, steel. Oh, come on. What am I missing here? Am I getting rock and steel mixed up? I imagine the top right is steel and that one's rock. Unless I'm doing it wrong. The rock one, like the one down here, this one kind of looks like an odd keystone. That one's clearly ice. So the first one's ice. We can st we can staple that ice. Oh, I can talk to them, dumbass. You can talk to them and figure out which if this is rock or steel. Rock. Ice, rock. Ice, rock, steel. Ice, rock, steel. Ice, rock, steel, rock. Ice, rock, steel, rock. Ice, rock, steel, rock, ice. Ice, rock, steel, rock, ice. I wonder if my family's outside listening. Like, what is he saying? He's just saying the three words over and over. Do we have to get an exorcist around here? Let me guess, there's more? Of course there's more. There's goddamn lots more. Alright, where's the statue starting? Which one's the start? Which one of you bad boys are is the starting one? So, let's see, you're the last, because you're facing it. And then, bam. And then, bam. One, two, three, but that's three. What about these two? No, you're looking that way. And then you're looking there, and... Okay, so you start. So that should be steel. I'm about to write this down. Okay. Steel, ice. Steel, ice, rock. Steel, ice, rock. Steel, ice, rock. Steel, rock. Steel, ice, rock, ice. Steel, rock, ice. Steel, ice, rock, ice. Steel, ice, rock, ice, steel. Steel, ice, rock, ice, steel, rock. Okay, let's see if I remember that. Uh, steel, ice, rock, ice, steel, rock. Alright, is there more? Wonder how Sabi got past all these and even closed the gate. Oh, this is Snowpoint Temple. 
that kind of makes more sense. Hey, Ralt! Oh my god, an Alpha Gallade. Is, is that Ralt's your son? I can't catch you. I'm out of here. Another Ralt. So yes, at the end of the episode, Ash and Serena met up. They they caught up for like 20 seconds. They're like, how have you been? I've been great. How have you been? It's been a long time. You two know each other? Yeah, we traveled together before. And then they said like, I'm going to strive to be the best. Alright, see you again. God, I was so disappointed. Like, we wanted this character back. This this one character in particular, so bad to come back. And that's what we got. I mean, it was great to see her again. Don't, don't get me wrong. Like, you see her outfit changed. Her freaking breaks in, evolved into a Delphog. Oh my god! Why do I have all three against me? How the hell is this game fair? Wow, that only did half his health. And that's going to lower my attack. Go ahead, Electivire. I know you want to. Yeah, I know you wanted to pull a move off. But yeah, her breaks in evolved into a Delphox. Her Pancham didn't evolve. It would have been weird to see her with a big ass Pangoro. I think the cute little Pancham with glasses kind of fits her, kind of suits her. Can I hypnosis one of you, maybe? Even though it's not like hypnosis works! At least it doesn't work for me. It works fine when the NPCs do it, but not me. Uh, this game sucks. Don't paralyze. Fuck! Thank you. Great, and fire is especially not that helpful here. What the hell happened? I thought double hit was an attacking move. I don't think I'm gonna win this. Fought off its drowsiness, thanks. Thanks for that. Because it's also a ground type. And Staraptor is not gonna be good either. Well, fingers crossed, hope for the best. And if I fail, then I restart the game.
Oh yeah, one shot KO, thanks. All my moves are not very effective. I can only hope for the best. Ooh! I kind of thought I would not have won there. I kind of thought, like, Rhyperior would have one HP left and I would have screamed and smashed my controllers. Like, really? One HP? You couldn't have given that to me? You mean you rigged the battle by having 3v1 and I still won? Look at my whole team. It all says fainted. Do these even have... Yeah, they do. These are steps. They kind of just look like a smooth surface with textures on it. wonder if anyone's actually watching still. I waited six years for the character to come back. And I don't expect her to come back. I hear maybe she'll be in another episode, but... At the- oh, come on! At the very best, I expect, like, a cameo. Like, she appears in the background. Are you fucking kidding me right now? Wow! That did very little. Well, that did more than I expected. But still, this Braviary lands one move on me and I'm done for. I didn't save before this fight. I didn't know there would be a fight. Eee! Okay. Uh, of course. Uh. Try again with a stronger team. How about I try with a team that ain't dead from a rigged battle, huh? At least I'm at least I start right back here. Ooh, I should have put Luxray out first. Cuz uh yeah, I'm kind of quad weak to f to flying. Thank you for the demonstration. You're gonna pay for that. My Decidua just gets his ass beat this entire game. Ooh, a critical hit. That's what you deserve. That's what you get. And yes, I noticed it says can evolve. I know my Ponyta could have evolved way before this, but honestly, I kind of forgot. What, was she about to jump off? She's like, you won. Well, that's the end of life for me. I'm done. <laughs> I guess every Pokemon in this game just likes the same tune. They couldn't even bother making individually unique little tunes for each of the, each of the little Pokemon that we get. Does that flute only play like those four notes? The sky plate. Oh, oh, and you can pass through there just fine, but not me. Hey, only reason you made it past there so quick, so quick is because I did all them puzzles for you. I opened them doors for you. Why do you think the lightning that comes from the rift would cause these frenzies? Well, maybe because Pokemon are struck by literal lightning bolts. I, I think maybe that would piss someone off. You know what? That's a good question. What is the Great Calamity? No pun intended from, you know. What is the big problem that Arceus literally had to send us here? That's a good question. 
Do I finally get to freaking fly in this game? Like at long last? Alright, Link, you know what happens after the wing ceremony. You gotta jump off the goddess statue. Try to land for that spot down there. You see that's that design on the floor? If you were truly brave, you would deploy your sailcloth right before landing on the ground. This kind of looks more like the Mario Odyssey portion of flying. Alright. So how do I... How do I go up and down? How do I... Okay, it says B to dash. Y to dive. How do I gain back my altitude? I can't lightly dive, too. I can't change my altitude. I can't change how far I'm diving. I can only do this position, this angle, or like this. There's no in-between. Do I have to crash into it? How do I get off? There we go. Hey, who calling me? Wow! It's like, okay. A piece of eternal ice. A type of life. A type of ice. A type of ice beloved by the Lord of the Tundra, Avalog. This ice is said to be fragments of ancient Avalog that lived long ago. Some would call that a fossil. At last, the summit is conquered. And I see you made it too! Flew down to this place and obtained the eternal ice, did you? What drives that burning zeal of yours, I wonder? Zeal? You gave- Hey! Hey, that ice was mine! Why'd I give it to you? I do have respect. I do have to respect the effort you've put in. Man, if only you saw the puzzles I had to do. I may still- I should probably drink some water first, my throat is getting dry. Do I have my water bottle in here? No I don't, but I do have my cup. Ice Peak Arena. Alright. Now, don't try to repeat the wondrous feat you're about to see me perform. <laughs> He's, he literally just said, Kids, do not try this at home. Highly, to wow. Highly toned bodies like what? Like mine. What, what are you trying to say about my body, huh? You saying I'm not toned enough? I mean, I may not have a six pack like you do. Oh, we don't even get to see what he did. How can I not imitate if I don't even know what not to imitate? For all I know, maybe he could have, you know, just climbed his way down peacefully and safely. And just told me, don't try this. Alright, I, I don't know what to try or what not to try, so I'll just try jumping off because I didn't see him do that. So I gotta go here. Dang, I want what's sparkling over there, but I do need to go heal my Pokemon. <clears throat> it's 11.13pm for me now. Pathetic little fire, but eh, it, anything, anything helps. You know, you can make that fire a little bigger, you know, make the rocks, make the, the circle of rocks a little bigger, throw some more wood in there. You know what, let me see my stats, I only got three. Wow, that whole time I only caught three? Wow, 200. Okay. Hey, I can now do this. I can now fly over there. Flying a little close to the ground. Hey, how do, how do I go up? Is there a way for me to choose to go up and down? What the hell is going on? Why am I gliding backwards?
I kind of want to see what's here. And let me guess, Stardust and Red. Yep. Okay, maybe it's a GTA 5 freefall thing where I just lose altitude as I fly. Maybe that's it. Up, oh, it's it's the dude I don't trust no more. Yeah, what's up? What's up? You 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 want you got some beef with me? What you want? You know what actually disappoints me so much about Ash and Serena's story in the Pokemon anime? The fact that I know n in nobody's lifetime will we ever see anything come out of that. Like, I can live my entire life on this earth. I can die before anything between the two happens. And the sad part is that probably will happen. I will pass away and leave this earth before anything between Ash and Serena happens. You know, even when I'm 80 and I'm a senile old man, I even if then they decide, like, I feel like all our fans are old, mature people now, maybe we can actually finally, like, show something to them. Even then, I would still take it. I would still be happy. An old man in my rocking chair, just watching the newest Pokemon episode, and they finally show me on screen, Ash and Serena kiss, I would finally be like, yes, I can die happy now. But, I know that won't happen. The fifth of Hisui's nobles. You're uh, building up a layer of snow on your body there. You sure you don't want to cover up? That, that, that guy. So yes, I've been disappointed by the Pokemon anime many, many times. Yes, it was great to see the character come back, but I was disappointed that the, about the fact that they did not deliver what the fans wanted. Sure, they gave us what we wanted by having her come back. But, you know, what we truly wanted... Yeah, the sand radish. Okay. What we truly want, you know, between Ash and Serena, they're never going to do. Oh, I was also right about the... So I was right about them essentially just making the two of them not meet up the entire episode. I was, I was dead on for that. But something else I was right about was the two of them just pretending the kiss never happened. Really? I needed to summon Sneasler to just just do that? What is this music? It sounds like cyberspace music. Or it did. Let me guess, I'm gonna need Sneasler just to climb up this? Come on, you could have done that yourself. Ooh, look at this. Oh, did I come here from the wrong way? I think I did. And squat. Yeah, yeah, grind that up in your mortal and pesto. Did I even say that right? Yeah, let me save first. Oh, 
I think someone's coming through the the door soon. Because, like, half my family's out right now. Oh my god, I did not expect this. I was about to be like, who's that? Oh my god! Y'all sent a child out here to do this? One step on me and I'm dead! Okay. How am I supposed to dodge that? Okay. So he does not cover the entire ground. But am I supposed to get close enough to... Yep. Okay, oh my god! The first one missed me. Here, eat this! You know, why can't I have an Avalog this size? No, I will not! I would just continue throwing my stuff at him. Every little bit counts. Even if it just chips off a piece. Yep, eat it. Hey! Not doing that good, but that's okay. I'm just getting a feel for it right now. Ah! I didn't have enough time to dodge that. No, I'm not reading all that. Uh, continue. You can carry over some of the progress you made. Yes. Because why would I reset it? Okay, half, I'll take that. The four Divine Beasts took away half of Calamity Ganon's HP. I can accept that. But yeah, in terms of the anime, I was also right about the two of them just pretending like it never happened. Just acting like it never happened. Just pretending... Just acting like they forgot all about it. You would think the next time Serena saw Ash, she would be a little embarrassed. Because she would be thinking, what's he gonna say? You know? What I did last time, maybe he'll say something about it. None of that. Na absolutely none of that. Her face didn't even turn a, 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 a shade of pink. You know, she didn't blush at the sight of him. None of that. None. Absolutely none of that. God, was I disappointed. And like I said, we'll never get anything more than just the two of them meeting and greeting. And, you know, potentially another six years apart at the minimum. Hey, hey, two attacks at once? Just keep moving. Oh, got me there. At least give me a chance to dodge it. Oh. 
My boy needs to use both hands to throw these. Or at least not just throw one at a time. He's blocking my paths of wh where the openings are. So I've been pretty disappointed by the Pokemon anime, especially how they handle these two characters. Oh my god, come on. I just need a- need a, No! I needed like literally two more hits. Ugh. I, I predict at the very best I'm going to have to start back at half HP. Let me guess, half? They're not going to give me only two hits remaining. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. I'll take one. One out of four bars. I'll take that. Pretty sure I could dodge these. Like that. Well, not like that. See, that's why I didn't want to risk that. You know, Garrick back there can help me out by, you know, sneaking around him and throwing some of these behind. You know, I don't have to do this myself. So these guys can help me out by throwing these bombs in all directions. I'm a fire in my laser. My super laser piss. There we go. Accept my offerings! Are you gonna shrink now? Because it'd be pretty unfair if you were the only Avalog that size in existence and we can't even catch you. Dang, I want an Avalug that big. Rival the size of Waylord and Eternatus. Icicle Blade. How many plates are we missing, actually? Hey, where to go? But seeing Almighty Avalug quelled, and by a, such a slight child, a child that fell from the very sky. Bruh, you could have helped, you know that? You're damn right I risked my life for that. While none of y'all helped, not a single one of you two helped. One, two, neither of you helped. Like I said, you could have just went, like, snuck around behind Avalok, threw the bombs from behind while I took its attention. All his attacks were on me. Nah, nah. You, not, none of you helped at all. Once again, credit where credit's due. You guys did help me make the bombs, but then again, you weren't risking your life helping me make those. I should probably re be reading all this. That big-ass Avalok sure got away fast. Yay, the last one! We don't have any more of those yellow boss fights. We may not agree on who's who's got it right about Almighty Sinnoh, but you Cl Pearl Clan folk aren't all bad in my book. Look who's finally seen reason. You see, Pokemon's too kid-friendly to ever introduce any sort of romance in, in anything they do. And that's what disappoints me. While their fandom may grow up, Pokemon itself, yeah, they never will. Oh man, that's quite far. 
Where is that? Okay, so I'm facing here. I do not see it anywhere in front of me. Boy, I don't need to rest. But, where is it compared to where I am now? It's not even showing up on my screen. Eh? Oh, maybe it's there. Like, did I just pass it? Am I supposed? Oh, I think I'm supposed to head back now. That's why it wasn't appearing on my screen. They don't even give you anything for fall damage, huh? So I'm going to catch up on the anime once it's done, once I have time. Like I said, I only watched the one episode so far. The art style doesn't bother me as much as the Sun and Moon one dud. Dud. Does. You know, speaking of assignments and school, I, I woke up early this morning for a presentation. I had an 8 a.m. class. My group decided, you know what, let's just get the, pres the get presenting it done with. So, we, some group already volunteered to go first, but after that, we went second. And that's, you know, that's great. Get it done! So I can get my ass back in bed. 8 a.m. presentation. And this this one assignment was worth a whopping 40% of my final grade. Jeez, for a presentation? <clears throat> Some of my friends say their assignments, like their final exams, are worth like 60% of their final grade. At that point, yo, I, I quit. I can barely even handle, like, my final exams being, like, 30% or 35. <sighs> so, luckily, like, from now on, it seems I'm taking Mondays off from work instead of Thursdays. And today being Monday... I had that 8 a.m. shit to do in the morning. Once I got done, I took my ass back to bed. I woke up at like 1 in the afternoon. If the rift were to vanish, would that leave me stranded here? Uh. I'm not sure. It's certainly very practiced at investigating things by now. You you certainly ain't got no experience investigating that, I can guarantee you. Tomorrow's soon upon us. Is it though? It looks like maybe 6 p.m.? In game, I mean. Uh. You know, as soon as I got done presenting my part of the presentation, because I went first, I started us, us off. I kind of messed up on what I was saying, because, you know, messed up a bit on reading the script. Oh my god! I didn't expect a giant kaboom to show up on my screen. Disaster looming. Guiding now active. Go outside and see what's happening. Part of me wants to save it for next time because I'm already an hour, an hour and 30. You know what? Let's open the door and see the world on fire.
No, I can't save this. For oh my goodness, I didn't expect all. I didn't. I kind of expected the world to be red, not purple. I was. I was about to be like, no, nah, I can't save this for next time. I gotta see at least what's going on. Okay. What's the big problem that literally God had to send a child back in time? So after I finished presenting my part, I kind of left because, you know, it was early in the morning and I had to <clears throat> use the bathroom. But luckily, I made it back in time after, before my group finished. The sky is more purple than red. Made it back in time before my group finished and my professor didn't have any questions like she did for the first group who presented. You know, actually, today's class ended early because my professor wasn't feeling well. She actually did confirm she tested positive for you-know-what. So throughout the whole session, she was coughing and sneezing. You know, it was like, thank God for online classes. Who or what are you really? A Survey Corps member? Don't say that. Uh, oh my god, I don't like either of these options. I'll say I don't really know. He's an alien. We must dissect him and study him. You came from the rift, as did the lightning. You're connected to these frenzies, are you not? Hey, why are you so pissed at me, huh? Didn't I risk my life to help y'all out? Do you think to gain our trust by quelling the frenzies you th you yourself brought about? And having gained our trust, what then? What is it you're really after here? Well, fine. If you don't want my help, I'll just leave. She, you're gonna treat me like this? I'm out of here. You guys can handle this crisis on your own. I'm gone. Y'all can solve this yourself. Let me ask you in turn. Can you prove beyond a doubt that he is free from guilt? This person, this stranger, appeared out of a rift in space-time. Who here can guarantee he is who he says? Or says? Who here can guarantee he is to be trusted? How, how is anyone supposed to prove the absence of all doubt? Let's be reasonable. What am I supposed to do then? Blah, blah, blah. You will be given the chance to investigate this la latest disaster. Not later. But not as a member of the Galaxy team. He remains a suspect unless he cle can clear his name from accusations that you brought upon. There are those in our village who cannot trust a stranger like you who fell from the sky. And so I must ask you to leave. You are no longer welcome in the galaxy team. Damn. Consider yourself banished from this village until you can explain why these calamities keep befalling our good people. No, until you've restored our world to its rightful state and proven your innocence beyond doubt. Oh my goodness, how can you act so heartless? Don't you believe in him? Do not attempt to intervene on his behalf. I will do what I must as the commander of the Galaxy Expedition Team. But I have not forgotten your deeds, nor the unusual skills you have displayed. You mean the very simple task none of you can do? That is why I have chosen to let you walk out of here free rather than clap you in chains. Alright, I've been exiled from the village. Do I have to? Yep, I have to do this myself. Damn, look at everyone. Some people smiling too, maybe. 
Scary. Someone's about to have a text bubble saying, Yeah, you deserved it, stranger. We don't know who you are. Get lost. Oh, at least she's feeling sad for me. Yeah, yeah, someone like you probably have doubts. Someone had to have doubts. How could anyone do such a thing? Do what? Do what exactly? Hmm? Hmm? Tell me. Tell me what exactly did I do? The fact that they make you do the slow walk of shame as well. Like, they didn't even just have that as a cutscene. They actually had to make you push forward and do that slow walk of shame as you're slowly exiled. Can I, can I at least, like, get, get the sleeping bag from my house? No? Damn, I didn't expect to be exiled of all things. Hey, yeah, it was it was him that told me to go and quell these frenzies, and now he finds it sus. <sighs> You've been an aide to both the Diamond and Pearl Clan. Oh yeah, one of them could take me in. Return to their respective settlements. Aw, oh, damn. Don't die alone out there. That's an order. Well, thanks. Thanks. That that's all I get. I will ensure you have all all you need to complete the survey the commander has tasked you with. What's that? What what was that? S fix the world. You will meet with both wait. You will meet with both admiration and abuse from others. How others choose to view you is a choice only they can make. You cannot make it for them. All that truly matters is that you hold firm to your own values. What what of the dream I first shared with you on Prelude Beach to complete the Pokedex? That dream simply won't come true without you. Seek out Leon. Dang. So I gotta go, what, all the way here? No. Or is it here? No, it's here! Oh, I could just fly there. Feel like I should save this for next time. Oh, I can. That's what this guy does? Ah, that's it. So I don't have to keep on going back. You know what? That's good to know, actually. Probably should have checked that out sooner. I, I like this music, at least. It kind of sounds like Mario Galaxy music in a bit. You know what this music sounds like, actually? It sounds like in Mario Galaxy, after you're done the level, the star appeared, and you haven't collected the star yet. That's what it kind of sounds like. Wow, I, I, I lost my, my ID. All I've got is this. Just a screen that says save. Alright, that's enough for tonight. I'm gonna call it there. And next time, I don't know what's in store. Now I'm kind of excited to continue. Because finally, the story's getting interesting. But that'll be saved for next time. Whenever. Hopefully I don't take another couple days hiatus. Well, thanks for watching, everyone. I'll see you guys next time. For whatever the hell is in store for us. Look at that sky as well.
Okay, bye.